escape speed. A cannonball shot upwards, reaches a maximum height and returns to the surface of Earth due to the gravitational pull of the Earth. The ball attains a greater height if it is shot with greater speed. Greater the initial speed, farther the object moves away from the Earth. At a certain optimal speed, the object just escapes the gravitational pull of the Earth. This optimal speed is called escape speed. We will now calculate escape speed by applying the law of conservation of energy. Consider an object of mass m with an initial speed u on Earth's surface, and when it reaches a height h. Let its speed be v. The initial total energy of the object when it is on the Earth's surface is equal to the sum of its initial kinetic energy and potential energy. And when it is at a height h, the total energy of the object is equal to 1 by 2 mv square plus minus gmem by re plus h. When initial speed is equal to escape speed, the speed of the object at infinity is zero. According to the law of conservation of energy, the total energy of any object on the surface of the Earth should be equal to its total energy at infinity. Thus, 1 by 2 mv square plus minus gmem by re is equal to 1 by 2 m0 square plus minus gmem by re plus infinity, which is equal to 0. Or, 1 by 2 mv e square is equal to gmem by re. Thus, escape speed equals square root 2 gme by re. By substituting the value of gme and re, we get the escape speed from the Earth's surface as 11.6 kilometers per second. Orbital speed. The speed of any astronomical object in its orbit is known as its orbital speed. All planets in the solar system do not have the same orbital speed. We will now examine the factors which affect the orbital speed of a planet. Consider a planet of mass m revolving with an orbital speed v0 around the Sun in a circular orbit of radius r. The centripetal force necessary for the rotation of the planet is provided by the gravitational pull of Sun. Therefore, the centripetal force on the planet must be equal to the gravitational force on it due to the Sun. m v naught square by r is equal to g m m by r square. Thus, orbital velocity equals square root gm by r. The time period of the planet to complete one revolution around the Sun is equal to the circumference of the orbit divided by its orbital speed. Hence, time period t is 2 pi by square root gm r to the power 3 by 2. Total energy of a planet. Orbital speed of a planet is equal to square root of gm by r. Hence, kinetic energy of the planet would be 1 by 2m into square root gm by r whole square. Thus, kinetic energy is gmm by 2r. The potential energy of the planet is minus gmm by r. The total energy of the planet is equal to sum of its kinetic energy and potential energy. Hence, total energy is minus gmm by 2r. Summary. 
escape speed VE on a planet of mass M and radius R is equal to square root 2 GM by R. Orbital speed V0 of a planet revolving around Sun in an orbit of radius R is equal to square root GM by R. Total energy of a planet of mass M revolving around Sun of mass M in an orbit of radius R is minus GMM by 2R.